Well, hello, friends, and welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTS. Get ready to learn something new today on the go. I'm Andrea, and I'm Gabe. And today's on the go is about bicycles. So, friends, you are going to learn some new words to help you talk about bicycles. The first key word here today is wheel. Say it again, wheel. My bicycle has two wheels, one in front, one in back. Part. Part. One part of my car broke. Now I can't drive it. Put together. Put together. After Johnny puts together his new bed. He can sleep on it. Rule. Rule. Shannon's parents have a rule. She must be home by ten o'clock. Jump. Jump. The dolphin made a really high jump out of the water. Well, let's say these keywords together again. The first one is wheel, wheel, part, part, put together, put together, rule, rule, jump, jump. Okay, friends. Now it's time for us to go on the go. Uh, on the go. We're going on the go. That's right. We're going on the go, Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> Good. So where、um, are we going today? Uh, well, we're going to learn about bicycles. And Eddie, do、uh, you have something for us? Yes. Okay. I have today's on the go mission. Ha! <laughs> Here it is. You ready? You want to、yeah. hear it? Okay. Let me tell you. Here it is. What kind of bicycle do Campbell and Hazel ride together? What kind of bicycle do Campbell and Hazel ride together? That's a good question. Let's go find out the answer in today's lesson on the go. Hazel, how do I stop this bicycle? I can't find the. Use the brakes, Campbell. The brakes. Ah! 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 That was close. We almost hit the. Oh, hi everyone. <laughs> It's good to see you. Today, Hazel and I will learn about different kinds of bicycles here at a bicycle school in Taoyuan. Do you want to join us? Great. Let's go on the go. Taiwan has made some of the best bicycles in the world. Many different kinds of bicycles are made on this island and then sent to different places. Riding a bicycle by myself is easy. Riding a bicycle with another person. Well, that can be harder. <laughs> What kind of bicycle are we riding, Hazel? This bicycle is called a tandem bicycle. It's made for two people. And if you think this bicycle is hard to ride, look at that bicycle over there. This is a special bicycle for ten people. You don't see these bicycles a lot. This is another special bike. It's called a sliding bicycle. Why is it called a sliding bicycle? Well, because you can slide it and make it bigger or smaller. Then you can take it with you wherever you go. Hey, Hazel, look at this. Hazel, Campbell, I'm over here. I'm having fun. Whoa! What are you riding, Hazel? Is that a bicycle? No, it's a unicycle. Uni means one, so this is a unicycle. It only has one wheel. To ride a unicycle, a person will need to practice a long time, balancing on just one wheel. Then they can learn how to ride it. 
Wow, there's so many different things to ride. I wonder what else we can find. Let's go. Left, right, left. Ah, oh, here we are. Hey, everybody. Campbell and Hazel are on the go, and they got to ride a tandem bicycle. Andrea, what is a tandem bicycle? A tandem bicycle is a bicycle for two people to ride at the same time. That's right. And many bicycles, well, all bicycles have two wheels. Let's learn this word, wheel. Wheel. A wheel is something round, and like I said, bicycles use wheels. Cars also need wheels to move somewhere. So a bicycle has two wheels, a car has four wheels. Now, Gabe, how many wheels does a unicycle have? Well, a unicycle only has one wheel. When you see the word U and I, uni, that usually means there is only one of something. There is one wheel on a unicycle. And Hazel does a great job riding the unicycle. We're learning a lot about many different kinds of bicycles. Well, speaking of bicycles, we did find the answer to today's mission right here. The mission is, what kind of bicycle do Campbell and Hazel ride together? What kind of bicycle do Campbell and Hazel ride together? They ride a tandem bicycle together. Yes, they do, and it looks like fun. Campbell? I thought this was a bicycle school. It looks more like a bicycle factory. <laughs> You're right. Well, this bicycle school is also a factory where they make bicycles. This bicycle factory has three main places where different kinds of bicycles are made. First, they make different bicycle parts. The parts are made of special metal. Then, these parts are painted and dried to protect the metal. Finally, all the different parts of a bicycle are put together. It takes about 15 minutes to put a bicycle together. That's fast! After that, the bicycles are put into boxes and are ready to be sent away. Wow, I'm riding so fast. Me too. But we're not going anywhere. I know. This is called a spin bike. It's used for training. You can go real fast, but you don't go anywhere. <laughs> this bicycle school trains people how to ride bicycles correctly and safely. The spin bikes can help people with breathing and the best way to sit on a bike. It's important to ride a bicycle the correct way. You don't want your arms and legs to get tired too quickly. It's also important to wear the right clothes when riding outside or training. You don't want your loose clothes to get dirty or torn. Wearing a helmet will protect your head if you fall down. Wearing gloves will protect your hands. It is also important to learn about the many rules for riding a bicycle. This special book will tell bicycle students all the rules to keep them safe. Campbell, there are so many rules. Let's read them all before we get back on our real bicycles. Okay, friends. Well, let's look at our keywords from this section. The first one is part. Part. A part is a piece of something. Before you have a bicycle, you have many different pieces or parts. Before you have a bicycle, you have to put these parts where they should be. Sometimes you might buy something new, but before it looks finished, you have to put the different parts together. 
You might buy a table with different parts. You need to put the legs on the table. These are the different parts of the table. That's right. And Gabe, you just said our next key word. Let's learn it. Put together. Put together. Well, if you are putting together a bicycle, that means you take all the parts and put them at the right place. Maybe you like to put puzzles together. There are many different parts, many different pieces in a puzzle, and you need to put these pieces together to make a nice picture. You put the puzzle together. That's right. It's fun to put things together. Sometimes we also call those DIY projects when you put together your own thing. Well, friends, we have another key word. It is rule. Rule. A rule is something that you should do. Yes, when you are riding your bicycle, you should wear a helmet. That is a good rule. That is a good rule, and it's important to learn the rules about. Bicycles and going on a bicycle ride before you go. Campbell, I think everyone that rides a bicycle should know these rules. They're very, very important.、Mm, I agree. Yeah. yeah. Whoa! Did you see that, Hazel? There's a guy doing、Whoa. really cool tricks with this bicycle. But that bicycle looks so small. These are special BMX bicycles that are made to do tricks. These bicycles are smaller and lighter than other kinds. The bicycle riders practice their BMX tricks here at the park. To be good on a BMX, you need to have very good balance, and you can't be afraid of jumps and falls. If you fall, you should get right back on your bicycle and try again. If it's your first time, you should only go up and down the ramps to get comfortable. Go, Campbell! Woo! Good job. Well, I need a little bit more time and practice, but that was fun. Here, you try, Hazel. Ah,、uh, no thanks, Campbell. I like to ride my bicycle on a flat road with no jumping. <laughs> Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed our bicycle adventure. We'll see you next time on the go. Yeah, bye bye. Hold still, Campbell. <laughs> I need you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, this is not easy. Okay, bye bye. bye.、Oh. Friends, we have learned another key word here. The word、uh... is jump. Say it with me again. Jump. Now, usually, you might use this word as a verb. When you jump, that means you get off of your two feet into the air. You jump. But right here, it's a noun. So when you jump, you can say you just did a jump. That's true. Well, like Gabe said, usually when you Jump! Your feet are off the ground, but in our on-the-go, we saw a bicycle do a jump. The man was on his bicycle, and they were in the air. It would be so fun to see someone jump on a bicycle. Yes, it would. These are special bicycles. They are BMX bicycles. Now, Andrea, what should you do if you fall down? When you are trying to do a trick with a BMX bicycle, well, Gabe, you should get right back up again and keep practicing. That's right, keep practicing. Don't give up, friends. Remember that when you are learning English too, never give up. Calendar phrase. Andrea, do you eat a lot of candy? Ah.、Uh, No, no, I don't eat a lot of candy. Okay, that's good. Take care of your teeth. Yes, I will take care of my teeth. Oh, Andrea, do you eat chocolate? Ah,、uh, well, yes, yes, I eat chocolate. Andrea, take care of your teeth. Okay, Gabe, I will take care of my teeth. You know why? Because that's today's calendar, calendar phrase. phrase. The phrase is、uh... take care of your teeth. Take care of your teeth.
Tell this to someone today. Let's go watch the skit. Take care of your teeth. Take care of your teeth. My teeth hurt. Why? I don't know. Take care of your teeth. Did you brush them today? No, I didn't have time. Take care of your teeth. When is the last time you brushed your teeth? Um, I don't remember. Maybe last week. Last week, John. Take care of your teeth. Brush them every day. Okay. Take care of your teeth. Take care of your teeth. Friends, now it's time for the question of the day. Yeah, that was yeah, cool. That Eddie? was. <laughs> what? Eddie, do you have the question? Oh yes, yes. It's a good question. Here it is. Would you want to ride a tandem bicycle? Why or why not? Would you want to ride a tandem bicycle? Why? Or why not? Yes, I would like to ride a tandem bicycle. I know it's not easy, but it would be fun to ride a bicycle with a friend. That's right. You need to help each other when you are riding a tandem bicycle. Well, friends, how would you answer this question? Thank you very much for joining us here today on Let's Talk in English on PTS, where learning, learning English can, can be fun. fun. Goodbye. Bye bye. Huh.